everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County Library at our downtown main location and today we are talking about silhouette art from our grab bags. Yay! So what are silhouettes? Silhouettes are they're solid black shapes. They are outlines that you usually make by casting the light onto something and then there's an outline and you trace the outline and people often then cut them out and make things out of them. So you put the dark back bleh, the black shape on a lighter color background that's how they're traditionally done anyway and why would anyone bother doing that well for most of history we didn't have cameras they're a relatively recent invention so silhouettes were a really great way for people to have pictures of the ones that they loved even if it was only an outline because portraits where people sat there for hours and painted a they're very time consuming and take a they just take a real long time to make, but also B, they cost a lot of money. So these were a relatively cheap and inexpensive way to get the picture of someone that you love. And the earliest known silhouette we ever know of is actually from a Greek myth. There was a lady and her love was going away and she knew she was going to miss him. And then she saw that the light was casting his shadow on the wall. And so she drew the outline of his face on the wall so it would stay with her forever, which is pretty sweet. So, um, silhouettes, that's what we are doing today. How do people do silhouettes these days? Lots of different ways. For example, this is a really great book series here. This is The Evolution of Calpurnia Tate in the sequel, The Curious World of Calpurnia Tate. If you're into historical fiction and you like science, these are the books for you. And as you can see on the cover here, there are the dark shapes of the people and the trees and the butterflies. They did embellish the outline a little bit. You can see the lines of where Calpurnia's apron is on, for example. Traditionally speaking, you don't they didn't used to do those with silhouettes, but hey, it's art. You can do whatever you want. There's no wrong way to do it. So that's one example of some silhouettes. Another book example of a silhouette is in this brand new picture book, If I Were a Dog by Joanna Coulter. On the end pages here, you see some kids and some dogs playing in their silhouettes, which is really cute. This is an adorable book, by the way. And there's the opening page. If I were a dog. So there's lots of artistic uses and of course the best known silhouette of all. Na 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 Batman! There's lots of cool stuff that you can do with silhouettes. So I made some silhouettes this morning and the, how I made mine is I came into work today the sun was shining and I decided to use the light from that was coming through the window and so I took a black piece of paper and I picked up this teapot and I put it down where the light was shining and I took a piece of white chalk from my grab and go bag. Everybody has some white chalk in their grab and go bag. And I traced an outline, the outline of the shadow onto my black piece of paper. And then I glued it onto another piece of paper and then I jazzed it up a bit. I had some newsprint left over in my grab and go bag from the print art project from a couple of weeks ago. And I had the, decided to have the words pouring out of the teapot. And you'll notice that this, this uh, my teapot on the paper is not the exact same shape as the teapot here on the table. It's a little bit longer. That's because when shadows are cast, it depends, the, the position of the sun in the sky determines how long the shadows will be. So don't su be surprised if, if your shadows are kind of stretched out versions of the real thing. So be warned that way. And that really came, became obvious when I made my second art, which is a little sillier looking. I tried to make some rubber duck silhouettes with this little rubber ducky here. It's a little wood duck you're curious. Um, and this is what I made with my rubber ducky silhouettes. They don't look super duck-like, but I had fun with them anyway. I cut the picture of the ducks out of my blue paper, and then I used the outline um, 
make the ducks. I happen to have orange paper in my bag as well. So that's what I put on there behind. And I had orange chalk. And I decided to use that to make the ripples. I had leftover black paper to make the little trees. And I had a black Sharpie that I used to write quack, quack. So someone looking at this would know that those are in fact supposed to be ducks. That's not really what they look like. But there's no wrong way to make art. The point is to have fun. Now, if you really don't want your shadows to look all stretched out like that, there's another way you can try to make silhouettes. And that is every little bag has got flashlights. If you go into a dark room and you find a way to prop your prop up on something so that it casts a shadow on the wall for you to trace, you can trace the shadow and, and you can take your paper to the wall and you can trace the shadow that way. And if the light's shining on it dead on, it should just be a shadow that's the right proportion and not all stretched out and funky looking. Um, but experiment with it, have some fun with it, enjoy yourself. Uh, the nice thing about chalk is that it rubs out and if you get it wrong, well, there's two sides to the paper. So you can have one side of the paper that's all marked off with chalk and still use the other side. It's not that big a deal. So anyway, have fun. And when you're all done, share it to us. Um, your The website, Sorry, not our website, our email should be on your instruction sheet, which also has other examples of other cool things that you can do with silhouettes. Um, and our, um, our email should be on here somewhere. So send it, send your, send us pictures of what you've made and we will put them in our virtual slideshow at the end of the summer showing everyone all the awesome stuff you've made and if you want more suggestions of stuff that you can do with silhouettes each of these pictures most of these pictures have got email addresses attached follow those email addresses and and see what you can see the internet's got lots of cool ideas thanks for joining us today guys we'll see you next time bye